President Barack Obama and Cuba's Raul Castro sat down together Saturday in the first formal meeting of the two countries' leaders in a half-century, pledging to reach for the kind of peaceful relationship that has eluded their nations for generations. In a small conference room in a Panama City convention center, the two sat side by side in a bid to inject fresh momentum into their months-old effort to restore diplomatic ties. Reflecting on the historic nature of the meeting, Obama said he felt it was time to try something new and to engage with both Cuba's government and its people. What we have both concluded is that we can disagree with a spirit of respect and civility, Obama said. And over time, it is possible for us to turn the page and develop a new relationship between our two countries. Castro, for his part, said he agreed with everything Obama had said, a stunning statement in and of itself for the Cuban leader. But he added the caveat that they had agreed to disagree at times. Castro said he had told the Americans that Cuba was willing to discuss issues such as human rights and freedom of the press, maintaining that everything can be on the table. We are disposed to talk about everything, with patience, Castro said in Spanish. Some things we will agree with, and others we won't.